guys today i'll be um, discussing von richter reaction and i have actually written down what this reaction i mean uh, means i mean what happens in this reaction to save the time basically what happens is that a uh, chemical reaction of an aromatic nitro compound with potassium cyanide and uh, it gives carboxylation okay that that to in the ortho position of the former nitro group that was present in the compound so this generally happens so in normally if i just show the reaction then um, then I can write it like this. So any nitro uh, nitro compound. So I have taken this, and with this you take your potassium cyanide, and then uh, as a result, uh, uh, I, as I have written down there, that we get carboxylation in the ortho position to the former nitro group. This was the nitro group, and its ortho position is this. So here there will be your carboxylation. Okay so this is the uh, reaction basically now let's get on to the mechanism uh, for this reaction for the mechanism uh, you see i can write the compound as nitro i mean the nitro i can write it as like this this is another way of writing no2 and the cyanide so that is potassium cyanide this this cyanide it will go and it will attack here this bond will break and this will shift like this i mean this bond breaks and shifts over there and then uh, next what we get is these things will remain the same here we got this double bond and n there is this negative here positive here negative here like this and you see here the cyanide got attached so let me just write it down like this and since there is three so one valence is still left so there will be definitely one hydrogen which is hidden and i want to show it out like this <clears throat> all right now uh, this the negative of this oxygen it will abstract this hydrogen it will abstract this hydrogen this bond it will shift here like this so this will go and give it to the nitrogen just to remove the positive charge in it now so yeah we got it like this c triple bond n right and here the chlorine is there and there is this n o negative and here we have o h yes yeah now this negative of this oxygen it comes and attacks this carbon of the cyanide and this bond breaks over here like this then what we have is um, there's this chlorine this we have or oh, everything is fine and nitrogen oxygen there is this hydrogen I mean the OH group I'm writing it like this so this oxygen and there is a bond between oxygen and carbon and there's triple bond nitrogen and a negative charge over the nitrogen okay yes now this negative charge of this nitrogen the negative charge of this nitrogen will abstract this proton okay this will uh, abstract this proton this bond will shift like this this bond will shift like this and then this here the double bond is there this bond will again shift over this nitrogen like this so as a result what we get uh, is this um, yeah there's this chlorine so we have nitrogen double bond oxygen like this this in this form and here you see uh, this bond shifted over here so this there is no bond between nitrogen and oxygen now so there is no bond here so just what we are left with is this there is this carbon and uh, one bond it broke and shifted over this nitrogen so the negative will be there and this nitrogen it took the hydrogen from that uh, OH right so I have gave, I gave this NH over here and that is this double bond O isn't it okay uh, yeah now this negative this negative will again attack over this nitrogen and will this bond shifts like this now what we get is uh, nitrogen there is this oxygen negative okay and there is a bond between this nitrogen and the other nitrogen so there is a bond and i can show this carbon double bond o and a bond like this okay 
now there is this negative charge and uh, we know acid based reaction can take place anywhere can take place anywhere so this oxygen and it will take this h positive abstract this proton and it will form oh oh there is this nh carbon double bond o now you see this oh this oh will abstract this hydrogen okay this hydrogen and the bond from here will shift over here like this okay this happens now and uh, is this clear to you this OH this uh, oxygen it takes away this proton and the bond between N and H that uh, that bond breaks and I mean it shifts it shifts over here forming double bond between these two nitrogen so what we get now is um, N and this uh, leaves us water okay this leaves us water h2o this leaves us water and so what we are left with is n double bond n and then there is this carbon double bond o so this is what we are left with now uh, the water that uh, h2o that was left no uh, that uh, that left as a good living group oxygen so there is now it it will act uh, it is again going to attack as a uh, nucleophile it will attack over this position of this carbon and then uh, this bond will shift here and then what happens is that uh, this N2 will leave as a good living group the N2 will leave as a good living group and what we are left with is um, here there is this negative charge due to excess of uh, electrons now and then we have this carbon double bond o and what got attached o h now this negative will again abstract this proton this bond will again shift here and will have this bond like this <clears throat> okay so now uh, quite a long mechanism right so this it took away this hydrogen so it's okay now here we have c o negative and here we have double bond o now just again an, another acid base reaction you can do it and then yeah so what you get now is uh, carboxylic group c double bond o o h so this is done so or we can write this uh, the same thing no c o o h we can write it like this carboxylic group okay you see I have missed something can you just um, notice that you see I just forgot to write chlorine after this step so let's just write down chlorine in every step uh, now because I actually skipped that out I forgot totally so there was this chlorine do not forget to write that chlorine so yeah this was the basic uh, mechanism I think this was uh, a long mechanism but uh, if you just uh, be careful then uh, this was not a hard one it's a simple one so I think this was uh, really helpful to you give it a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you